interdependency is part of the nature of our universe. We as humans depend on the existence of one another. This video aims to highlight the interconnectivity contained within objects that allow us to bypass basic activities and take part in the complex capitalistic system in which we live. I have created a scale so that we can visualize together the complexity represented by our everyday objects. First, there are organic objects. These are things we take directly from the natural world, which have not been modified by technology. Examples are shells, fresh food, plants, rocks, bones, etc. Next comes simple objects. They are made of naturally occurring materials which have been modified or configured by technology slash tools, but are not inherently technological themselves. Examples are eating utensils, dishes, some sorts of instruments, some types of furniture, tiles, glass, jewelry, etc. Third are complex objects, which are made of some naturally occurring materials combined with one or more synthetic materials, such as plastic or polyester fabric. These objects give us the ability to have things in our immediate environment, for example in our houses, that would not normally be there without a certain amount of work. For example, the baleen salt shaker is made from plastic and has a paper label. It allows us to have salt on our tables without ever going to the ocean or learning anything about the salt harvesting process. In this regard, it simplifies the amount of work we must exert in order to attain salt. After that are techno-complex objects. Similar to complex objects, however, their functions rely on the use of electricity. These objects are commonly tool-based. Examples include appliances, cars, electric toothbrushes, hair dryers, lights, etc. Think of them as non-smart electronics. Finally, there are socio-techno-complex objects, which are exactly like techno-complex objects, except with a clear sociological function. These objects are created specifically for communication purposes and allow us to connect, exchange information, and share experiences with each other remotely. Examples are computers, smartphones, televisions, smart cars, video cameras, speakers, radios, etc. Through defining our objects, it becomes clear that we rely on complex interdependent systems. This is a feat of human intelligence. However, through these systems, an abyss has formed between people and the environment, as well as between individuals. In bypassing the actions that bring certain objects and substances into our reality, we have grown distant from the consequences of our choices. We have compartmentalized ourselves away from one another, and we have compartmentalized our Earth into zones of abuse and zones of freedom. I want to bring awareness to the complexity that our objects represent so that we do not become fooled into thinking that things are easy and there are no consequences for consumerism. The functionality of our modern lives depends on the work of others and on inventions from people all over the world from all time periods. In this regard, a piece of trash is not just rubbish. It is a marker in the evolution of human lifestyle and intelligence, a symbol of refined tool usage and a glimpse into our collective priorities.